Hello everyone, Wolfring again. So today we're going to look at a problem that is from uh, the 2005 Austria um, Mass Olympiad problem. So this one looks like this. If we know A, B, C are three real numbers, and we know we denote S n as A to the degree of n plus B to the degree of n plus C to the degree of n, and we know S1 equals to 2, S2 equals to 6, S3 equals to 14. We want to prove this expression. The absolute value of S n squared minus n, S n minus 1 times S n plus 1. This one is actually equal to 8 for any n larger or equal to 2. Now first, if n equals to 1, no, n equals to 2 here. So you got uh, as 2 squared is 36 minus 28 does equal to does equal to 8, right? So um, we want to prove this for n. Um, a general idea here is that um, we have three uh, equations, S1, S2, and S3. We have three unknowns, A, B, and C. Um, theoretically, we can solve for A, B, C in this case. Now, we don't have to solve each individual one of them, but we might be able to just get some relationship among these three, which can be very helpful um, to simplify the target expression. Let's actually do that. So um, first, we um, try to use the relationship between S1, S2, and S3. So first, S1 and S2. So we have this expression, this square uh, formula. A plus B plus C square equals to A square plus B square plus C square plus 2 times AB plus BC plus AC, okay? And this one contains S1 and S2. You just plug them in. You get uh, 4 equals to 6 plus 2 times this one. So this one is just 4 minus 6 is 2, divided by 2 is minus 1, right? So it's AB plus BC plus AC equals to minus 1. Similarly, uh, we get a cubic formula. So we just expand A plus B plus C cube. Okay, it's a little bit tedious, but it's look like this. Now we, we just rewrite it a little bit. We just factor out um, some common items. So we got 3AB times A plus B plus 3BC times B plus C plus 3AC times A plus C. Okay. So here you see that we can make it symmetric among A, B, and C. What we want to do is to make those items um, become A plus B plus C. Okay. So in order to do that, you can see that we actually add 3ABC here. 3ABC here, so 3ABC for each one of these. So it's 9ABC in total, but we only got 6, so you have to minus 1 ABC, minus 3ABC here, okay? Now you can factor out A plus B plus C. So finally, we got this expression. So we notice that we can plug in S1, S3, and the conclusion we got from the previous uh, equation. So we get 2 cubed equals to 14 plus, actually minus 3 times 2, minus 6, minus 3abc. So 8 equals to 14 minus 6 minus 3abc. And 14 minus 6 is 8. So we actually get a times b times c equals to 0. Now this is a beautiful conclusion. If A, B, C is 0, which means at least one of A, B, and C is 0, so without losing generality and using the, uh, using the fact that the, uh, the expression is symmetric among A, B, C, so we can let A equals to 0. In this case, you just uh, uh, plug that into S1, S2. You get B plus C equals to 2, B squared plus C squared equals to 6. Um, so we can easily get BC, which is B plus C squared minus B squared minus C squared divided by 2, which is minus 1 here. 
Now, uh, we know b plus c is 2, b times c is minus 1, and we can use in the uh, Vida theorem. So b, c actually are the roots of this equation, x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals to 0. Solve it, you can use the formula, or you can just uh, move minus 1 to the right-hand side and plus 1 both sides. You got x minus 1 squared equals to 2, so b, c just equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 2, okay? Now we got the actual value of a, b, c. Theoretically, you can calculate anything. But this target expression is actually easier to calculate. So let's do that. Sn squared equals 2. Just plug that in. And a is 0. So we can expand this. This is b to the degree of 2n plus c to the degree of 2n plus 2 times b to the degree of n times c to the degree of n. Okay? And similarly, we can get this for Sn minus 1 times Sn plus 1. Notice that both of these contains b to the degree of 2n and c plus 2 to the degree of 2n. We can cross them out. So the difference between the two is just the 2 times bc to the degree of n minus. So those two we can actually factor out b to the degree of n minus 1 times c to the degree of n minus 1, which is just bc to the degree of n minus 1. And what's left is c squared and b squared here. Now you realize that the target expression only need you to know the value of bc and b squared plus c squared. We happen to know that. So this is 2 times minus 1 to the degree of n minus 6 times minus 1 to the degree of n minus 1. Okay? You can put this minus sign into the minus 1. So this becomes 2 plus 6 times minus 1 to the degree of n, which is 8 times minus 1 to the degree of n. So the absolute value is just 8. Okay, so think about the whole process. We actually use the uh, uh, polynomial, homogeneous polynomial um, identity to solve for a, b, and c. And then we can also get some um, conclusions among a, b, and c to the first three degrees. And using that, we can simplify the target expression and easily get it proved. And that's it for today.